This is London calling in the overseas service of the British Broadcasting Corporation. I have to tell you now that no such undertaking has been received and that consequently this country is at war with Germany. battleship, Graf Spee, which has been for many weeks preying upon the trade of the South Atlantic and met her doom. Mother dear, I'm riding you from somewhere in France, hoping this finds you well. We shall fight in France, we shall fight on the seas and oceans, we shall fight with growing confidence and growing strength in the air. We shall never surrender. of the RAF with the Navy. And Rodney, which did some pretty work with her 16-inch guns. Ah, this is not the end. Uh, it is not even the beginning of the end. Uh, but it is perhaps the end of the beginning. <laughs> but the Japanese high command had declared that a state of war existed with Great Britain and the United States. The German Navy, so proudly built up by that smug strategical genius, the Führer, is slowly but surely being wiped out. Now the Scharnhorst, the 26,000-ton battleship, has gone to the bottom not unusual result of action against the Royal Navy. Led by a powerful British escort, the main body of the surrendered Italian fleet is transferred from Malta to Alexandria. Signed the act of unconditional surrender of all German land, sea, and air forces in Europe to the Allied Expeditionary Force. across the China Sea for the last large-scale surrender at Hong Kong, where today, warships of the Royal Navy ride at anchor in the harbor. Well, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and good night, ladies and gentlemen. This is a Tuesday night stream, and... Uh, Making up for the lack of a Friday night stream, uh, mostly because um, I was a bit distracted building the 148th Churchill Mark 7. Um, 
which I very much enjoyed, and I did put photos up on my Discord. So if you want to have a look at that, that's perfectly fine. Um, but yeah, otherwise, yeah, we're we're here. We're going to stream. Wife's at work, so we're going to get a couple of games in. Uh, Vaz is already in the uh, science support division, but I'd like to say hello and welcome to uh, M Champion, uh, Vaz Vegas, and Ronnie Chang. I would like to play. Uh, as well. uh, what was? I think M Champion. You got multiple accounts, haven't you? Um, I don't see you online at the moment, unless you've got another account. <laughs> uh, otherwise, yeah, feel free to um, to join. Because as always, uh, I am running a a science support division. If you want to play alongside while I'm streaming, feel free to shout out. And. If you have any requests for vessels you'd like to see me play uh, during this live stream, also feel free to shout out, and I'll try my best to oblige. Hopefully, yeah, the microphone microphone is unmuted. Always have that mild panic at the start of the stream. Let's get the first game going. And Vaz wants to play Tier Five. Uh, that's perfectly fine. So, let me know if there are any audio issues or anything like that. The setup for this stream was a little rushed. Ah, uh, just all signed in now. Okay, no worries. I'll uh, pick you up after this game. Evening, Crib. Evening. All right, time to kick off our slippers and make ourselves comfortable. Ah, and the first game in a in a long time is a tier four and five game with a failed division on the enemy team with domination on land of fire enemy team v170 in the division with a new york furthermore we have a podvosky a guide a pensacola a congo a cavour a dunkirk and a rugio uh carrier game rugio not necessarily too concerned about the uh, the aa let's go Well, you sounds good. Brilliant. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Randy. <laughs> Much obliged. Uh, yeah, I, I've literally, I've, I've finished work, I've cracked on and cooked a prawn Thai green curry, and then I've had to quickly then rush setting up my stream with the, what time was left <laughs> on top of this. I have to put the bins out and feed the rabbits. Uh, <laughs> the life of a modern man. <laughs> uh, and now we're doing a bit of shipping. First time in a while, so we'll see how it goes. I, what the hell was up there? That's a crane. Okay, the crane just looked like it was floating. I can't really look at it properly. Mm. Oh, enemy guide he's gone and shown his hand. Okay, the two of the three enemy destroyers are over there. Also, likely the carrier. Mm. We do have one destroyer at the Alpha Cap, I think. Probably the Podvosky. I think what I might do, I might take this opportunity now just to smoke up and engage the Guidey. She's got to go straight ahead. And we've got the cap. She's fixed her rudder, or she's got a commander build that uses um, quick fix. You should be gone. Very nice kill, that's very nice. Okay. I think at the moment, because we haven't lost the destroyer. On the Charlie flank, and there's basically that's now a one for one for one, and because the carrier is patrolling, I'm going to move over towards the Alpha Cap and see if I can find and engage this Podovoski. Let's get our there's the Podovoski. He's testing. Okay, let's get our guns over to our port side and then roll in. Should be right then. And dead ahead we have. Mold Moth. I'm assuming the clan's called Scotland. <laughs> Scots Sea Lions. Ah. 
Scottish clan. Enemy cruisers at Pensacola. Poloskis. Likely making a charge. Enemy carriers located to the north as well. Hmm. I think I'm going to leave that cap to. Uh, I think Baz is going to have it handled along with the rest of the uh, fleet, I guess you could say. A couple of torpedoes in there should do a trick. Nice, there we go. So my mission here is I'm going to scout out and see what I can find here. I know it's a Pensacola and a Ruggio. All of the enemy destroyers are lost. Ruggio's dead still. Torpedoes in 1 minute 20, give or take. Pensacola's a good distance off. What size detectability range? 5.8. Oh. That must be returning bombers that spotted me. So regards, because the Pensacola there, I might be just tempted just to try a bit of a... Uh, use our guns. That should result in a damage control. This might take a while, but it's rather amusing. Ah, looks like the carrier's actually going to do something about me. Interesting. Nice, there we go. Oh, that, that really is all, all she wrote. Oh, maybe you're still connected? Yes. Ah. Nice tidy gate. It's quite amusing that our team didn't have a single premium ship. Hmm. Ah. Right, Tazul, I know you say you've only got the uh, the one account, but let me prove you otherwise. Okay, campaign, yes, I get the campaign, very good. I've got you down here on PlayStation, <laughs> and then I've got you here on Xbox. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> okay, um, any requests? Nope. Okay. Uh, hmm. Let's move on up to tier six then. I 
Oh yeah, I do have a PS4 account. There you go. <laughs> <coughs> but I still haven't quite got over this cough that I've got. Oh, what do I want to play at tier 6? Hmm, I'll contemplate Rook, Rook and see what... Uh, See what the rest of division uh, put down, and then uh, we we'll take a Vanguard. We'll do that next. Then. Do Vanguard, and well, actually, if we're going to do Vanguard, let me switch mine. I don't know. I'll, let's stick with Rook. I was thinking of switching mine to a cruiser, but if, because if we're doing Vanguard next, but maybe fine. Anyway, hello Jeff. Hello. Hope you're well. Seems like the laptop and OBS are all behaving themselves. Okay. Yeah, I just got to keep an eye out on it all because obviously we had the. So I have to finally get in new internet. Uh, so I no longer have internet dropouts. Uh, last live stream, um, OBS decided to drop out. <laughs> Ah, let's see, five and six games, we're top tier, Fubuki, Pensacola, West Virginia division, then we have an Achilles, Pan-European isn't it, uh, Jervis, Gokaz, Belfast, Sharnhorse, Serov. Spawning on the right, so we'll play the right flank I think. So we've got an Italian destroyer with Vaz. And we have a Japanese battleship. A uh, cruiser. Oh, brain fart. <laughs> right, trying to thread the needle just so I don't cut anyone off. Mm, I'm going to slow down to half speed. I'm going to let um, Tazul get a bit further out, and that way I ain't going to cut him off if I end up um, having to turn out to dodge some fire. Okay, there we go. I think we should be alright. Um, enemy battleship spotted. Can't tell what it is. Let's see for West Virginia or the Shan Horse. If the Shan Horse, then I still, might still be a bit cautious. To the West Virginia, I might be a bit more tempted to push in. Pensacola, you're in a division with the West Virginia. Okay, I'm turning out. That also means there's a Fubuki out there. Don't want to find out. That's interesting. The West Virginians decide to break off. It unfortunately, does mean I've got to try and push in when there's a Fubuki, and I don't have sonar in this thing. Oh, this island's in the way. Okay, I'm gonna have to go around the island. Oh, I don't 
Jim's beard. Now I'm spotted, so the Fubuki has left her smoke. Two cruisers in the West Virginia. Just cautious about being drawn into a pocket here. Mm, go case. So that's got pretty vicious high explosives. Based on what limited experience I have with that vessel. Oh, the Fubuki's bought it. Why? I'm worrying. Why am I worrying about the Fubuki? Oh, I must have missed that game. Who got the kill? None of us. I bet you've all been shouting at me in the comments going, the Fubuki's dead. <laughs> Okay, let's focus on the Pensacola. That's going to be a quite a nice thing to focus on. Knocked his engines out. He's not going anywhere. So hopefully my next volley of AP should really hurt. And what I'm trying to do here is just make sure I can't be touched. Basically, I want to try and make my engagements 1v1 as much as I can in this thing. She's super squishy and will die very quickly. Also, the gunnery officer's been on the drink again. Pensacola rudder is not that good. So I'm going to bide my time here. There, there she goes. Uh, no. Fire. Yeah, I'm burning up pretty badly here. Three of a pens. Very nice. I have a very good suspicion that there has been some torpedoes dropped into the water by the Go Kays. Jervis, danger close. There's the torpedoes. torpedoes direct front. Mm, this is very... I really want to avoid the... Um, Come on, RNG. There you go. There's the West Virginia. Uh, what, what's my other situation on the left? The Belfast. Oh, God. West Virginia hurts. Go, 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 go. Get 
the angle of the dangle. There's obviously the Jervis there. Battle pass in smoke, Neptune's beard. Getting closer. Go for a bit of a Hail Mary here. Evening sacks. Oh. <laughs> God's sake, don't kill me. Oh. <coughs> oh. God. Just seeing the responses to sacks is typical. Uh, in <laughs> Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Uh, oh, well, I don't think there's any point watching the rest of this misery. So let's crack open the next game. I believe it was the Vanguard that has been requested. Playing boats would give you your virginity back. I think everyone would play it, wouldn't they? <laughs> oh. Like Peggy. Mm -hmm. It's always quite amusing sometimes watching a, um, <coughs> a division. And where they just kind of randomly select ships. <laughs> okay, we're doing this. Ugh. <laughs> Quite unusual to see a stream on a Tuesday. That that is true. That is true. Um, it's just yeah, the wife was at work, and I need to make up for my uh, lack of a Friday stream. So uh, the stars aligned, I guess you could say. But yes. Good, good afternoon, is it, I believe, new type commander. Okay, um, battleship heavy game, because we're in a battleship heavy division. Every team, Chengmu, Hipper, Hampshire. Oh, Hampshire. I haven't played that for a while, actually. Something German. Zeta, Bismarck, uh, New Jersey, Massachusetts. And I don't know what that is. <laughs> Carl... Uh, 10, 14, Carl 14, Johan, Johan, um, God, what do I want to do here? Of course, we've got the middle spawn, and then I've got the middle spawn of the middle spawn. Don't really want to do anything. 
But I don't want to overload the flank. I think I might just watch the game develop a little bit and then see where I need to put my firepower. I mean, at least it's not a carrier game. Mm. I don't know. The left flank... The left flank feels a bit better. At least stuff started to get spotted now. Uh, including me. Uh, uh, scratch going forward. Zeton, Massachusetts. New Jersey. And there's probably a destroyer charging right up the middle. Uh, that's last one for me. I gotta pick up my daughter from daycare and take her to the preschool. Oh, no worries, no worries. Rojang, stop flexing your non virgin status, Vaz. <laughs> uh. What is the destroyer? Chung Mu. So, probably deep water torpedoes. Such a horrible game. Bismarck. You know what? I think I'm going to put my lot in with the right flank. Because it's only two cruisers over there and their battleships abandoned them. And then the thingy um, and the other thing. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to throw my lot in with the right flank. That makes sense. There's the Chung Mu, uh, Chung Mu fired. Come on, come on, guns, come on, guns. Any luck? Ugh, no. Spot the gang, Chung Mu's left her smoke. Torpedoes in the water. I, I actually I think doesn't Cole fourteen Johan have um torpedoes? And that is probably not the correct name. But it's what we're, we're gonna stick with it. I'm sure Kriv is frothing at the mouth in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> World War One unfinished German battleship, which was half built and scrapped. War game in imagined, and alternatively, universe where Sweden bought the half finished battleship and out in water in 1952. And as, as, as a classic, classic war gaming. Let's imagine. Nothing like playing a battleship like a light cruiser. <laughs> Stick it behind an island and shoot over it. Oh.
Thank God for the 3D printer. She bow tank? Yeah, she can. Still gone. Triple fire right now. Mm, where are we? Jim and secondary cruisers hanging out near the base. Zeton's burning up. Captain Boss in the middle. Hip has been chased off. No point chasing her down. Bismarck's currently halved. What are you? Hampshire's still got loads of HP. Hmm. Oh, um. Yeah, and she put. Oh, she's still got triple fire. Ah, she's just put it out. I'm going to have to look at the armor scheme in this thing at some point. Hmm, hippo, okay. Oh god, the left flank just suddenly wrapped up. Okay, right, we will jump on the USS... Um, I like big butts and I can't lie, I think. Um, USS. <laughs> we'll have to see what happens when Freedom units get sent down range. <coughs> um, it has long range torpedoes. Or oh, Scotland torpedoes, 305mm guns, reloads at 70 seconds, 9km secondaries. Mm, okay. That DD screwed themselves over by shooting at you, yeah. I think they probably just consigned themselves to death and probably were hoping to get, maybe get a fire or something right at the end, but it all went downhill. Anyway, while we're um, waiting for the end of this game, any requests? You can request a nation, a class, a particular ship, a particular tier. I'll do my best to oblige. Oh, I think that's the all. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, what we got left kicking around? We have a encouraging smoke. I kind of want to see the end screen on this game. I want to see where it, where we got. 
will be interested. Oh well. Have a quick look, see whether we had any other games. Uh, Rook was a loss. There you go, warts and all. Second place there. So, yeah, not, not too bad, not too bad. We're really good losers. Uh, there goes Vaz, much obliged Vaz for uh, coming along. My saw. Ooh. Did we even get that? What is my saw? My. My, oh, my, yes, yes, we do have my sword. Of course we do. <laughs> yes. Okay, yeah. I take up the, the, the my sword. My sword. Oh. <laughs> what was its real name? <laughs> no, it doesn't say. Oh, well. Yeah, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll take up the my sword. My soul, Perth, Jura Division. If you're kicking around, um, Kriv, I can always fold you into the... Well, fold you into the fold, I guess you could say. Uh, oh, no, you're not kicking around. Oh, no worries. Uh, good case. Okay, no worries. There she was Nigeria, that's it. Yeah, Vaz is unfortunate to drop off. Yeah, many thanks to the games fans. So that means that does mean there is a, a available space in the Science Support Division if you want to play alongside on this Tuesday evening. Tears of the Desert Domination. Four and five game with a failed division. T22 Ashan. Spite Land, in division with Emily Patin, a Go Kays, a Graf Spey, a West Virginia, and last but not least, in division of an Uber and a Mackinson. Pardon me. Okay. Hmm. My sword's going to be a nicer open water style cruiser with her smoke. So I'm going to go. Kind of centralish, maybe. I wanna, I wanna be able to contribute to both flanks. Oh, Sax is about. No worries. I'll follow you in the next game. Yeah. See you Friday, Vaz. See you Friday. I'll have to get something sorted and arranged for all that. But yes, see you Friday. Uh, gotta love fail divisions. Yeah. Spite Lander is, <coughs> is a good cruiser though, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't treat her too poorly. But then that's me assuming in the, it, that, that should mean, I should caveat that with in the right hands. In the right hands, it's not, it's not a bad cruiser. Oh, it's crawling smoke in this, isn't it? Christ, that's the uh, that's the problem with those Japanese light cruisers. I'm spotted. Rushed up. Interesting. Uh, 
I guess there's no torpedoes. Oh, well. Right. That sucked. <laughs> <coughs> oh. Calling smoke when you have the accessibility of a DD when firing for smoke, yeah. Ah. Uh, good God, I think I got just uh, death struck by the same West Virginia as two games ago. <laughs> I love the film the vision. Much obliged, but I just watch and uh, learn for the moment. Okay. You already know too much, Kriv. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds better to write this than um, the truth, uh, which is I just had dinner and just lying on the bed because I can't move. <laughs> no, no, Kriv. Tr truth's always best. Ah. <laughs> uh. Let's see, we've we've got Sax in the division. What well, what's Sax Sax is gonna wanna play believe it or not, he probably wanna play the Z thirty five. Is he gonna if he's gonna play the Z thirty five then I think I'll I'll back him up in uh in good old Fiji. Ah oh. Da, 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 da. <coughs> oh me! Unfortunately, I've got um, because of my cold over the Easter break, I've got a little bit of phlegm in the chest, and I just can't shift it, which has been a little bit of an annoyance. So I've had a cough now for probably need two weeks. Let's see, what's the time? We're nearly, nearly halfway through the stream. And we've done well, and we've done bad. Anyway, tier 6 and 7 game. Achilles, Akatsuki, M M M Maya? <laughs> Zara, Cleveland, Baltimore, Gneisenhauer, King George V, and Iowa. Akatsuki in the division with the Gneisenhauer. We're on the left flank. I'm not going to complain about that. Yes, we know. Oh, there's, I'm, I'm still using the uh, Helldivers uh, command wheel. Yeah, I know I haven't streamed Helldivers for a little while. Uh, admittedly, there probably isn't too much interest on my channel for Helldivers, but I'm still playing Helldivers. I'm really enjoying it. It's, uh, yeah, it's a very nice um, live service game. They're, 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 at the moment, it's, it's constantly throwing new things at you. Uh, although at the moment, uh, just because of work and stuff, I haven't really been sitting down and doing like a, um, long long sessions of playing it. I've been more, more like booting up, doing um, a couple of missions, and then um, calling it calling it a night after about an hour and a half. But I think that's what I like about it. You can kind of put you. A little bit of time into it, and then uh, and then call it an evening kind of thing. Uh, the reason being is that the weekends I've obviously been been busy sorting out the garden recently. So, yeah, the major's got a lovely garden, <laughs> and um, also um, I've been. Uh, but obviously, I guess you can kind of tell because um, I was talking about a uh, a Churchill tank. Um, I've been getting into plastic kit modelling a lot more, uh, especially tabletop wargaming, um, uh, especially uh, like bolt action and things like that. Been really enjoying um, going down to the local wargaming club um, for a uh, a game or two, and um, actually getting um, my minis fully painted. But, uh, no sax, don't do it, sax. Oh Jesus. Christ, you've got to blame me for that as well. That's all my fault. Mm. 
Clearly, I am doing something with the Fiji that I probably shouldn't do. And that is charge into the, the throat of the enemy. Interesting, the Akaski loaded AP. Unfortunately, he's... he's oh, dude. I was hoping to get some vengeance for my... My fallen brethren. But no, you had to ruin it. <laughs> well, we'll pinch the Akaski smokescreen. I bet the fire kills him, yep. <sighs> Alrighty. Let's start pushing over towards the other flank and let's see what we can do. Meanwhile, let's uh let's have a look at the chat and see see what <laughs> damn measure you always see. <laughs> no, I should have been more aware though, oh, no worries, no worries. Those torpedoes were meant for me, so I'm happy to take the blame on that one. Oh, kiddies, not in range. What is in range is KG5, which is not really that exciting. <clears throat> I'd like to support our destroyer, but I'd also like to not be perforated by the enemy. However, I do kind of feel that perforation is the name of the game. My shells have a massive flight time. Can all be be, uh, be sneaky uh, or quiet like like a fish. <laughs> I just no, I can't. KG5 is going to spot me. hit the smoke far too early. I might even run out of this smoke. Oh, we managed to... <laughs> let's, um, let's fix those scratches. Okay, thank you. Is any of that KG5 left after this? I don't know. Well, I doubt it. I bet the fire's kill him. There's no point shooting. Our team has taken the lead. <clears throat> well, we seem to be syst uh, systematically deleting the enemy in detail, one by one. Might as well continue our hunt. Let's head southwest, chaps. Well, I should use, do a bit of the usual YouTube shilling while we have a quiet moment. If you're enjoying the live stream, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Obviously, it helps with promoting the live streams and also promoting the channel. Although I admit, I definitely am not streaming as much as I used to. Mm. 
Hmm. How's this gonna go? Because they got Cleveland. No. We had a Cleveland. No? Where's the Cleveland? There's the Cleveland. They had a Cleveland. Okay. They still got a Baltimore, which is Raider. And um, my uh. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Sax, so you're going to have to watch all this. It's probably really boring. <laughs> What's the poor battleship that's got left behind? Colorado, oh, maybe lucky if he even gets to be able to chip into this battle. Victory is in sight. pushed out from the islands which means we have a flanking shot and the eye was just gone behind the islands so we can do this um, pretty safely is I'm gonna put Sona on turned on his radar. Uh, we're going to get around. But a bit of hard right rudder and we should be alright. There we go. Nice now. Okay. <clears throat> we're probably going to win on points, I think. Yeah, play, uh, pity how time is this on Xbox? It looks fun. It is fun. Um, yeah, I mean, it not being on Xbox, I guess, it, it is a downside. However, at the same time, I kind of feel like Microsoft own the IP to a whole universe which includes a very similar theme that they so in some regards xbox could have built their own hell divers and they could have done it years ago and in some regards i think a lot of people um would would have really wanted that i mean imagine it halo odst hell divers you know <laughs> even if it, you know but and going dry like dropping in and going up against the the flood and the covenant i mean microsoft have all all of the tools they just need to build just need to build it and the problem is like it's one of those thing, things if you build it they uh, the, the players will come and um has xbox done that no you've got halo infinity um which well, sells armor sets for the same price as Hell Divers, <laughs> so, <laughs> and yeah, so yeah, I, I don't think we need to say much more. Um, I'm gonna want to try and play the Mysore one more time because that last game was an absolute dismal performance. Um, I mean, I'll let's have a quick look at the. Service record to see how badly we did in the Mysore. Well, Mysore game was obviously a defeat. Actually, let's have a look at the Vanguard game. The Vanguard game was also a defeat. So, um, as you can see, yeah, second not good. So, second in my in the Vanguard, which is a really weird kind of game. Um, not too bad. Uh, but that Mysore that Mysore game where I died really quickly, still got middle of the pack. That's uh, that's kind of interesting. Uh, not Vampire, my soul. There we go. Sax is already on it with the T61. 
Let me talk about the major. A couple of weeks ago, I made a catalogue list of all the uh, bourbon whiskies and scotches that my family has. Of the ones that are mine, I have six. Oh. Yeah, my, 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 my problem is um, but, uh, whiskey doesn't last long enough in this house uh, for me to ever have a collection of more than one. And it only stays like one bottle uh, for a very short amount of time and rapidly reduces to three quarters of a bottle, half a bottle, quarter of a bottle, gone. <laughs> In some regards, I would say I'm, I'm a lot better at collecting empty whiskey bottles um, than I am at collecting whiskey. Um, I mean... <laughs> I... <laughs> Uh, what are we looking at? Uh, tier 5 and 6 game. T61 Jervis, Nuremberg, Renown, Queen Elizabeth, California, Nakata. <coughs> Can I just know Arkham? Let's try it. Okay, uh, Microsoft was busy uh, giving uh, Cortan, uh, Master Chief's AI companion, bigger boobies uh, during the years in Halo than focusing on a proper game. Uh, they made Halo Wars one. To two years, uh, but that wasn't that successful. Is it Halo? Oh, okay, maybe I'm thinking maybe it is Halo Wars. I thought there was like Halo Infinite, Infinite, which is supposed to be like a, a life service game, which is still stumbling along. Yeah, I d like. I take, take apart, apart, how divers does a lot of things right, and I think it's come at a time. When the gamer market is has grown tired of um, your f of the same games coming out over and over again, like Call of Duty, just uh, the might just call it Call of Duty generic, um, or you've got Battlefield, um, where Battlefield hasn't really lived up to expectations. You've got Skull and Bones, the first quadruple A game apparently, which is. Um, uh, just a, a sailing boat simulator um, full of cutscenes. Uh, we've had um, Starfield, which has just been um, a, a tired old game engine being forced uh, to um, to push out a game, and it's just it's just not lived up to up to what it should have done, really. Um, and I think this thing, it, I think Helldivers has just come at a time when I think. We've had so many disappointments um, that it's uh, it's refreshing to have something that that's good. <laughs> mm, watch out, Sax! That a hey, that. Likely we have a competent air, um, aircraft carrier on the enemy team. Which um, has its own challenges. Oh, you've got a crawling smoke screen, and there's me using it like a standard smoke screen. I think because it's like a Fiji, I keep getting caught out by it. I've got to learn to use it as a... A pan... Uh, right, Commonwealth, I should say. Not pan... Pan British, yeah. <laughs> that, that's going to go down a treat, isn't it? <laughs> oh, God. I like to live my life dangerously. Ooh, 
nice touch. Nice touch. Right, I'm going to stay here and cap because I don't want to die. OBS is working. Oh, okay, there was a bit of blip in the stream. Okay. Oh. Jeff O, a repulse to the last good British BC, in my opinion. Uh, is that in historical? I, I seem historical. Yeah, Repulse was a good battle cruiser. Definitely agree with that. The six that are mine are... Oh, okay. I'll have to read about whiskies very shortly. Am I going to have to open water? Uh, Good eyes and how. This could be amusing. I'm kicking this out as the, the Goliath has reloaded, of course. Thankfully, it's HE. Fire. Unfortunately, I'm getting closer to a Nagaturn and Renown. That was AP. Oh, thank God for Jim's version. Hmm, if the Gamas now could die, please, that'd be great. That was the Ark Royal killed our Benham. Okay. Crawl along, I think. Mm, okay, right, well, the Nagatus is distracted and the Ark Raw needs to be found, so I think we're going to shake a leg and make a move. <clears throat> the six online are McAllen 12, a uh, Duars, a Japanese blend, eight year, a Shackleton. Shackleton, good choice, sir, good choice. Uh, Craig a 12 year, a proper 12, uh, that's Connor McGregor, Mac McGregor's. Uh, uh, whiskey, uh, a monk round bourbon. Okay, Crib. I still have my Game of Thrones whiskey collection. Is up for sale if anyone's interested. 
Uh, unfortunately, Crib, my shelf is full. Oh, these are boxed. Uh, can be stored on the floor. <laughs> Z44 next. I'll see if I can oblige. <clears throat> Where is the enemy Ark Royal? I think we are going to have to take a little restroom break after this. But yeah, we'll take the Z44 out. Let's see. I'm trying to see if my tier 6 AA at tier 5 actually means anything. So far, we have shot down some aircraft. And some would call that a plus. <laughs> yeah, Normandy's got hardly any AA, so in some regards, me protecting the Normandy over the repulse um, isn't a bad shout. Bouncing off the armored deck. Oh, it doesn't matter. To Zul's 15 inch shells will not be bouncing. Okay, there we go. Slightly better game than the I saw. And there we go, yeah. Nice little game. Okay, I'm going to take a quick restroom break and then we'll be right back for the Z44. Oh. Right, we're back. Let's have a look. Proper 12 is horrible, uh, Graham. It's always that I didn't think... Let's see what, uh, drinking the same bottle of uh, Lafroy, uh, tenure, uh, more than six years now. <laughs> Crib, God's sake. Oh. Yeah, that probably wouldn't last six hours for me. Probably. <laughs> Although at the moment I've uh, I've kind of cut back on my alcohol, alcohol in, in, uh, uh, intake, so uh, it's quite possible that um, I probably don't think I have probably have more than half a bottle today. Anyway, this Z44, what is it? It's German, obviously. Uh, it's a destroyer. Uh, I'm assuming it's a high tier. Oh, there it is. I don't know. <laughs> Classic major star. Never played it. <laughs> what is this? Um, it's German. Um, God, I don't know. 
I, 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 let's let's have a look. Let's do an overview. It's hidden in rapid torpedo reload. I guess it's being kind of sold as a torpedo boat. Um, low down, it doesn't have sonar. Okay, yeah, this is getting. Uh, this is kind of getting a bit disappointing. I guess you could say. Uh, no sonar, smoke, engine boost. Uh, let's just quickly pop a second beta flag on. No, not that one. That one. Okay. Um, mm, I mean, what? what's the classic? Classics Bay. Uh, what are your inspirations? They're very classic. Let's do a boring bay. Okay. And then... Those look like... So let's go for the traverse speed buff. Uh... Let's do acceleration. Let's do concealment. Um, let's do this. Uh, we have a container. Let's have a quick look at that. What's this? A Japanese cruiser crate. Ooh. Ooh, 17 common flags. Lovely. Okay, thank you. Uh, we're tier eight. Uh, we're a destroyer. Let's go for one of those. Tier eight. Let's go for one of those. I'll leave everything out of stock. Torpedoes. Twelve kilometers of range. Concealment five. Five guns, 3.8 second reload, doesn't seem too bad. 22,000 hit points, mm, not amazing. Mm, you could do a silly blue fury and build, couldn't you? Uh, it just gives you more skier bites. Um, I think I'm going to stick with Boring Bay. And then we'll see. I'm sure chat's probably shouting out something else soon. Uh, German DDs about Sona makes me sad. That very... I'd, I'd have to agree, Randy. I'd have to agree. German talk boat. Yeah. Great AP. Okay. Are there any 128s? I'll, I'll dabble with the AP. If the AP seems to be quite interesting, I might... Um... Hmm. To be honest, part of, me is, part of me is tempted to go for a sheer... Cheers, my make my destroyer slightly more maneuverable. He's just my classic German DD build. That's double sheer, I think. Uh, I'm trying. I haven't had alcohol since August. Good for you. Good for you. <laughs> Honestly, well done. Because uh, I remember you saying probably a while back you had a stroke. So honestly, probably. Probably not not touching the uh, the the the, the, the not, not touching alcohol is probably a, a good thing. <clears throat> Jeff Day, so it's the Freud sixteen-year-old now. Unfortunately, the age of uh, whiskey is the age that it's inside the barrel. Uh, so once it's bottled, unfortunately, it doesn't get any older. Um, the age is more is linked to. Um, Basically, the, the the depth of the flavour um, that you can end up with the whiskey, uh, like the flavour that it um, accrues or uh, absorbs from from the barrel. But I'm sure you already knew that. I'm just coming across as an absolute twerp, so <laughs> so I shut up and play the game. Uh, enemy team: Gajer Madman in division with a lightning. Then we have a Sumner, a Nokachov, a uh, Kronstal, a Magi, a Bismarck, and two Suyas. Uh, it's guns are rubbish, rubbish major. Uh, <laughs> they may be rubbish, but that's not going to stop me trying. <laughs> uh, but Z31, um, Marco, and Schultz have make up uh, for the loss of Sona with their AP shells. That's interesting. I'm jumping. I've lost about thirty pounds, which is hard on the American diet. I do miss my uh, gentleman Jack. 
Unfortunately, I've got uh, £30. Uh, what's that? That's that's over two stone, isn't it? Because isn't it, isn't it £14 to the stone? Yeah, see, so wow. Good on you, good on you. Yeah, like, like, like you kind of said on the American diet. Well, I probably wouldn't say American diet, but on an American environment. Um, that'd be quite difficult. Can you imagine lightning somewhere? None of those I really want to battle with. We're contested all around. Ah, oh, lightning. Okay. Captain Mannering! I've definitely played this player before. <laughs> Your name will also go down on the list. Division with a gadget of murder. Okay. Okay. I think we've, um, we've taken enough risks here. Oh, who are you? Neptune's oh, beard. Lightning's on hopes and dreams. Gajamaj just, just clapped it out. Oh. Okay, enemies making quite a significant assault at the centre, however, um, I think it's possible. I mean, Sax is still alive! Because the, the enemy's only really got one destroyer left. And it won't take much for our black to probably find him and kill him. That Suez is done for. If these black torpedoes have the speed. Oh, there she goes. Nice kill, Sax. Hmm. I go in. Hello, hello, hello. 
Uh, it's your division's fault you died, yeah. <laughs> Face <-axe. laughs> Oh. Uh, oh, what's this? Um, you talk around this. Someone on the other side of the pond might know this, but what version of Eurofighter does the RF fly? A Typhoon FGR4, coming from Criv, are based in Lost Mouth, Scotland, just a 40 minute drive from me. Uh, I hope I haven't given away any state secrets. No, no, yeah, like New Top Crown is, is probably available data. Watch out, I'm, think, I'm trying to think of a joke involving getting stuck between a rock and a hard place. That's me, isn't it? <laughs> No, no. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, it was a good. It was a good play by the guys from Malato and the Lightning, you know, to to play that pincer move. <coughs> They've um. They have unfortunately sacrificed um. Quite a lot in doing so. I mean, if that's so, yeah. At the moment, and also interestingly, both destroyers are. Likely behind this island. There's definitely something right here. I'm not seeing anything else coming out of this smoke screen though. Um meanwhile Oof I've probably picked a really bad time to come over here. Will those torpedoes do the legs? I think they're probably going to overshoot. Yeah, she's turning in. Oh yeah, that, that one's a bit of yeah, rock and a hard place. That was just get gobbled up by the enemy cruisers. Meanwhile, <laughs> Sax is pushing in. Mm, yeah, he's, he's going to start kiting. I don't blame him, possibly, because... At the moment, the enemy is on the two flanks and to the front, and they're just going to pince. They got the numbers advantage as well, unless we suddenly start turning the tables. I mean, Bismarck just gobbled up some torpedoes. She's damaged, conned any flooding if there was one. Oh, and then a hell of a lot of fire just comes in and wipes out over 5,000 HP in a blink of an eye. My, my God. There's the lightning. There's the uh, there's the summoner. So if anyone can get line of sight on the lightning, they could just. Sax is trying. Unfortunately, there's a damn island in the way. Massachusetts is currently. Oh, I was about to say getting lucky, but he's eaten one there. Just the one though. Very lucky. It's possible here that the enemy um, summoner is going to go. If the enemy summoner goes, then there's nothing really stopping. Uh, probably the Suyas actually um, hunting out the, um, the lightning. Yeah, only two ships, nearly two ships down. The Amagi. Oh, is these Saxes torpedoes? Oh, bigger Margi size gap there, unfortunately. Oh, there's the lightning showing a bit of leg again. But that's all. Very nice. Right, let's have a look. What's going on over here with Sax? He's in an awkward situation, but he has a broadside crunch style. Probably not getting the citadels that you're looking for, but those torpedoes, they look good. I'm hoping. You might get free. Yeah, you're going to get free. Eins, zwei, dry. Nice. Nice sax. One down, one to go. Um, you're probably going to get burnt out there, though, especially by the Okachov. Oh, Massachusetts has bought it, unfortunately. Um, Black. Black does have an opportunity to perhaps push on the enemy summoner, but there is still a Suez kicking around behind that island. These two battleships need to wrap up this Amagi. They have the HP. They need to they need to turn in. And the Amagi's 
But Margie's reversing in broadside on. That's um, it's an it's an interest interesting interesting tactic. Uh, let's see if it works out. <laughs> and halt. Uh, oh, okay. Mar oh, yeah. Okay, Margie's gonna burn out in three, two, one, and pop goes the weasel. Nice. Okay, right. What's left over here? We've got the Okachov, a Sumner, and a Suya. Suya's on about two thirds HP. Uh, well, come on, Black. You've got this. Wrap up the Sumner. Nice. That just leaves the Okachov. Oh, some uh, Black. Black. Black's. Mm, Black's bought it. Suck herself broadside on to get her torpedoes away. And then you're going to lose a the torpedo there. No, it actually went through. Okay. I don't think this torpedo is going to work out. I think the Sioux is a little bit too switched on for that. However, with one cap circle. There is a in about a minor chance we might be able to pull off the win. I'll could chop up there. Whammy. What's the time? I've been spectating this game far too long probably. We need to crack on. Um yeah, we got half an hour left. Ah. It's a real neck and neck game, but I think we, we really do need to make a move. We'll have a look at our um at our Z44 game. Um, in a short while. In the meantime, let's crack on with another game. So we've done a tier 8, we've done a tier 7, we've done a tier 6, we've done a tier 5. Okay, so we've done most of the upper tiers. Hmm. Yeah, I want to dabble with this. Um, Jeff, I think 55k damage in a Z44 with one torpedo here is a decent performance major. <laughs> well, thank you, Jeff. <laughs> I'll have to take your word on it. We'll have to see where we get to uh, that one. So, due to the lack of, still lack of Dido in the game, I'm kind of surprised at that. I thought Dido would have been out by now, considering how long the ram has been in the game. And we've had the British Battle Cruisers launch. Uh, yeah, I would have thought, well, I would have thought we would have Dido by now. <sighs> oh, fault line, capture the base in the tier 5 ram uh, 5 and 6 game, hand my saw, Gorky, La Gazine, sorry, Bayon, Dunkirk, Tennessee, Poltava. I spawn on the left flank, but we're going to the right flank. The reason being is I find that this this map has asymmetric um, spawns. I, is that the correct saying? I might be wrong, but basically this. <coughs> spawns aren't quite balanced uh, and so what usually happens is our team will um, overcook the left flank uh, our left flank while the enemy will overcook our right flank so what I usually like to do is try and bring balance to the force and uh, and make, make a move over towards the right flank and then see how the game uh, develops and then potentially move up the centre Oh. Treat yourself to a conqueror battle. I wouldn't exactly call legendary tier a treat, <laughs> but you know what? Yeah, we'll take the conqueror after this game. We'll see what's happening up at the um, legendary tier. Okay. Enemy battleships on the right flank are staying on the right flank. <sighs> oh me. Oh I'm spotted. Mm, that's 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 not good. 
Well, we might as well shoot. Can they make ourselves skinny? Sacks, we have a destroyer over here. It's in our hand. Oh, you cheeky devil. Nice. Okay, um, please find the gap. Please. Right, Sanks, I'm coming over there to nick your smoke screen. Spotted and the Tennessee's gone and charged. And you predicted the turnout. My soul might wrap you up, though. That's the awkward thing. Oh, you've you've actually lost the sport. How much HP you got left? Thirty. <laughs> oh, literally being held together by sticky back plastic and paper mache. <laughs> Have you ever tried fish on your congrel? Don't need to, I use hood. <laughs> I think I use hood, yeah. I, I like a, I like Battle Cruiser Conquest style build. Uh, deep water torpedo detection is still bugged more than a year now, uh, so uh, he will uh, turn out sadly. Uh, well, I guess that's the nature of the game, isn't it, Kruv? You can't monetize patches. <laughs> yeah. So why fix the game? <laughs> oh, it looks like the M team's folding up quite quickly. Got a pole tower from the Mysore on the left flank and a <coughs> Surrey on the no, Surrey on the left flank. Mysore and well, okay, right, scratch that. Pole tower on the right flank. Gonna be a long game, I think. Right, let's go have a look at what's going on over here with the sorry. Hmm. 
some reason run out of map. What's she up against? Gunaisnauer, Andrew Doria. Yeah, I'm going to struggle to angle against those. And also, the Gunaisnauer is using HE. Right, we're back over here. Nice hit from Tazul there in the West Virginia. Most torps are probably going to go behind unless, mm, unless the Pole Tower does something. Oh, God. I think we might have to ban Tazul from playing the West Virginia. <laughs> Now this life, uh, but there's unfortunate events are uh, shortening the usable ship list for each tier, yeah. Okay. When did I get? Ooh, yeah, I really, really sucked that game. <laughs> oh. oh, well. Uh, where did we get to with the um, Z44 game? Uh, mid pack, nothing, nothing. Nothing special. Middle of packish. I'm playing. Sh yeah. Okay. Um. Conqueror time. That get that game was rather quick actually. Le legendary tier. British. Conqueror, Zerlang Hood. Let's give that a go. We are not playing Alabama. <laughs> oh, God knows when the last time I uh, took out a uh, Sing Yang for, uh, for a battle, for example. Yeah. That's the thing, uh, although they add more and more ships to the games and more and more gimmicks and things like that, it doesn't necessarily translating actually uh, a div an increase in the diversity of ships played unfortunately the ships aren't necessarily entirely balanced and therefore there is I guess you, you end up with your prime suspects Sax that is an interesting choice hmm. let's see if this goes the full 15 minutes we might have to call this the last game of the stream Depends how long the matchmaking takes, though. There we go. Locked in after 27 seconds. But that is quite a comparison to probably some of the... The other tiers will be locking quite quickly. Domination, Sleeping Giant. I didn't say anything about Alabama, <laughs> Mister. Ah, uh. uh, West Virginia. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I said, I died. <laughs> Elvin, Hines, Carabos, Shimakase, Des Moines, um, Johan. Main, Conqueror, Conqueror. Spawn in the center, yay. Um, just sing, uh, just sing it, uh, almost the same. Uh, I think one thing I like about the Bureau is it makes me play ships I wouldn't usually play. <laughs> That's true. Or if you're like me, you just don't. <laughs> you just don't play the ships. Oh. You only got to play the uh, the ships that kind of lock lock the uh, the things up, aren't don't you? Howland, okay. <coughs> Sucks is charging up the middle. A 
Enemy Conqueror. What the hell are two destroyers doing over at um at D? <laughs> Sit back, chaps. We're gonna let the battleship move forward and do the scouting, and then we're gonna follow up. <laughs> oh god. I got Sax covered, I'm not spotted, and I kind of vaguely want to know what the hell Sax is going to do next. Because in some regards, I am. Um, I don't have a lot of faith in our team at the moment. They are showing themselves to be superior Muppets. That's where I'm going to turn in. What a strange game. What is? There's a destroyer, possibly, somewhere, maybe. Is it possible that we can limit our engagement to just the Des Moines? What's the Des Moines hoping? If I sail broadside on, I won't get hit. Are you sure? Do I brawl the Johan or do I kite the Johan? I'm thinking kite.
Okay, um, let's start the three point turn. I'm. Sp There's a DD over here, but it's a bit like. I'm not really built for this. Hunting destroyers. So my best bet is to actually probably push over and engage the other enemy flank where there's actually um, ships to engage. Um, Torpedoes are stern. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> What's that? Probably, probably Shimikaze. Hey, anyway, I'd like to leave. Okay, I've got two destroyers and two battleships that I have to engage. One's a main, the other one's a conqueror? Yeah. situation. the Karabosk. Problem solved, sir. Oh, wait, these turrets might. No, not enough. You could really do that 3D printer right now. Thank you, everyone's dead.
Well, there's really is nothing I can do. Apart from get lucky. I need to get rid of the main to free up our cruiser to hunt the destroyers. Oh, good lord, what am I supposed to do here? Jesus Christ. Right, can our cruiser do something now, please? There's destroyers that need hunting. Go find them. Oh, God's sake, you. I don't think we're going to win on points because we're two caps down. Well, what? Yeah, two caps down. Come on, one destroyer needs to just get a bit ballsy. Come on. Oh, we're going to have to do something stupid. We're going to have to go broad to get the guns on. Come on, we need to kill Shimikaze in 10 seconds. <laughs> Just hide. Oh, that's not going to help, Griff. <laughs> uh, Clipper is, uh, is a dying breed as well. Yeah, sucks, bro. It's funny, Tia, that. Uh, it's funny, uh, Tia, then only the Colbert can come into play. Uh, just tease those who don't have her. Yeah. Yeah, not strange, typical funny, Tia. What a skill. Uh, and they. They can uh, easily execute their player at the time. Yeah, so close. Yeah, true that. Oh. I think one thing I like about the Bureau... Oh, uh, yeah. <coughs> right. It's five minutes to half past nine here in the UK in the evening time. 170k damage. Uh, second place in the Conqueror. Okay. We've had, uh, I guess, a reasonable, reasonable evening. Some good, some bad. Many thanks to uh, Salty Sax, uh, to Zulkalu Adventures, and to Vaz Vegas for all joining the Science Support Division. Much obliged. And as always, I'd like to say thank you to everyone who's come along and commented uh, while I've been streaming. Because obviously, first of all, that means you're a subscriber. Yay! Uh, second of all, that also means that um, yeah, your, your support is much appreciated. Uh, while I'm reading out, feel free to smash the heart symbol or whatever it is in the chat. <laughs> but yeah, I'd like to say thank you to M Champion, Vaz Vegas, Randy Chang, uh, Kriv. Jeff, Dave, uh, Kid Mike X Gaming. Hello, I missed you. Damn. A uh, new type commander, uh, Salty Sax, uh, Criv. Well, I think that's all. I think it's been a, <coughs> a nice 
quite evening, but it is a Tuesday after all, I guess. Uh, so, you know, it, it is what it is. Oh, the IK way as well popped by. Much obliged. But yeah, I think that's everyone. So, yes, yeah, stay safe, stay well. Have a good morning, good evening, good afternoon, or good night, wherever you are in the world. Uh, fingers crossed. Hopefully, see you for, uh, Friday for our live stream. And until next time, I'm Gav Major, and back to the port. Pip-pip-cheerio and cheers.